Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna take you through this makeup look. It's kind of soft glam makeup meets clean girl, like your date night makeup, that kind of vibe. That's what I feel it's like anyway, but yes, I hope you enjoy. Also, before we start, please ignore my lips. I seem to have had like an allergic reaction to something I've used on my lips and they've just gone literally bright red and just a bit weird. So if you're thinking, Daisy, like, have you got like bright pink lipstick on? No, um, my lips are just suffering. So let's just ignore that. But my skin prep is done and I'll include that in a different video. I thought I'd just stick to makeup in this video and yeah, just glowy skin prep as always looking like a greasy egg right now but that will change <laughs> okay so my first step in my routine is foundation now you might be thinking daisy this looks a little bit different to your normal foundation and yes it does i'm using a different foundation today this is the luminous silk giorgio armani foundation i have actually spoken out of this in the past and i think that is down to me having the incorrect shade before i had a really dark shade i did it online like i showed match online it just wasn't it and I never really used it because if I did, I had to use like, the tiniest, tiniest pump and I'd get it all over my face. And I just don't, never like got the hype. Now I have a new shade. This is shade five. I think I used to have 5.75, which seems like it wouldn't be that much of a jump. But I think it's just like it was a very warm kind of golden tone and it just looked orange on my face basically so i've got this one now and the shade match is literally perfect i in my opinion <laughs> i love it and i'm gonna say i actually love this foundation now anything i've said about this foundation in the past ignore it i literally love it like it lasts so well it goes on so nice i mean you will see i don't know why i'm like bum licking this foundation <laughs> right now but you'll see when i put it on I'm just gonna shake it first, which I think is always good to do with a foundation. And then I put one pump on each cheek and then one on my forehead. To be honest, it's kind of like half a pump on each cheek. It's definitely not like a full squidge down. Okay, it's probably like a pump overall on my face, probably like a third of a pump on each cheek and then on my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe brush. I always get questions on this brush and it's definitely Morphe. Everything's rubbed off of it, so I can't tell you like, the exact like brush model, but I think it's a foundation brush. I did, my mirror is like next to me, but I did get it uh, a few years ago. So it, I think it was also a Christmas special, or like a limited edition, that's why it's gold. But I think it's just their normal foundation brush, just with a gold handle rather than black. So... I think literally it's just a normal one. It's like got a black handle now. I think, I love it. I think it's really good. Okay, this is the foundation all blended in. I mean, you can see just the glow. Some of you might think, Daisy, you look greasy and oily and you would be correct, but I am going to dim obviously the glowiness down. But if you haven't figured out already, I love a dewy makeup look. So if that's not for you, <laughs> you will not like the end result. For foundation, I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in shade two. Now, I tried this the same time that I tried my new shade of the foundation, and I really like the like formula, the consistency, everything I like. However, the applicator, like, there's nothing wrong with it, like when you look at it like this, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks like a normal applicator. But I feel like just no product comes out on it, and I feel like I'm like scraping off my foundation, like trying to get the concealer on my skin so i'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this just like really lightly on my face and then i'm gonna go over with my she glam complexion boost concealer in shade linen i believe yeah linen so i'm just gonna apply the concealer i don't know if you can see what i mean like it just applies such a thin layer which to be honest i don't actually mind a thin layer i feel like it's always empty if that makes sense and it's not because it's like brand new to be honest i'm just gonna use a bit of this l'oreal concealer like do you see what i mean with this brush like product just comes off it so well and i feel like there's a, like allowed to be more product on this i feel like sometimes a stopper can take off product or anything but yeah that's my only complaint about that concealer because it sits so nicely and it literally doesn't crease on my under eyes either so i really like it i just wish it was in a different kind of not form but you know what i mean 
Okay, this is definitely very extra. I don't really, really know why I'm going in with three different concealers, but I'm just using this to add a bit of brightness to my under eyes. This is just such a light concealer. It's basically white, so that does the job. And to blend this in, I'm going to use the GGB sponges. You don't have to wet them, which I think is great. And to be honest, you can wet them, which I didn't actually know you could. I thought it was just like a dry sponge, but you can. And I haven't tried it yet, so I will try it soon. But I love these. They're so nice. I feel like they don't soak up much product either. So like you get the amount you put on your face that you get. So I've got hair on my face on mine. It's really like tickly. One of my biggest tips when blending out your under eyes is to be so gentle because you don't want to disturb the foundation underneath the concealer you're trying to add to it rather than like move it if that makes sense moving on to cream bronzer i have a new one again it's from refi now i got sent a load of things from refi like i was so grateful i couldn't believe it and actually one of the things with these um tweezers like how cute like refi tweezers they're very unnecessary but they're very cute but this is my new go-to bronzer. I have it in the shade Sand and it is honestly so good. The like pigment, the creaminess, like I'm literally obsessed and I just want to get my hands on like every single fry product basically. I also got this brush. This is the Duo Side Brush. It just says this. This is the only brush I sell I think but it is so nice. This side I use to put on like skin tint or something. I don't actually use this for cream bronzer, which I think is its main purpose. But for me, I don't like using a brush like this for cream bronzer. I prefer a brush like this side. So that's what I use for cream bronzer. And I just go in like, was that four? I don't know, times. And then kind of just stamp the product on my upper cheek, just in this kind of area. You don't want to take it too low, especially if you're trying to like lift and sculpt your face you don't want to be pulling your cheekbone down and then like making your face kind of not droopy but not lifted so just do that and then around my forehead I will blend some of this as well this just goes on the skin so nicely I think this is such a nice shade as well it's nice and bronzy without being like bright orange but it's definitely giving like a warm bronze which I love this honestly as well requires like no blending. You stamp it on, blend it for like literally a second and it's just completely blended. Like this is just obviously real time as I'm talking. And I feel like it's blended. This hair is still on my face and I just can't find it. I'm sorry, I found it. And then the last thing I do with this bronzer is just take it down my nose. Definitely not like a defined nose contour. I just like to like bronze up my nose so it doesn't disappear into my face, you know? And then actually with any excess, I'll just brush it over my eyelids so they're not white as a ghost. Okay, that is my bronzer done. I just love it. I feel like it makes me look so much more alive and like healthy to have a bit of a sun-kissed glow on my face. I don't know, that's just me. And now moving on to cream blush. I've got a new one. It's from Refi. This is in shade Rose and it's just their cream blush. I am obsessed with this. The colour is just beautiful. It's like the nicest kind of nudey pinky just love the color like this would be such a nice lip color as well just obsessed and i actually just use the same brush because i think the combo has done like both things so i just use the same brush don't really clean it at all and then just go in with the blush i do go quite heavy with this and then i just kind of stip stipple that's definitely the wrong word i just place this to be honest on the upper section of my cheek kind of this area Rather than on the, like, the apples of my cheeks, I think that's what it's called. I, I just feel like that makes my face look more round and that's not the look I'm going for. So I like to keep it, this is like the world's smallest mirror, one sec. <laughs> I like to keep it focused on my upper cheekbone and just move it round up there. Okay, I thought I might add a bit more and then realised that that was kind of a lot. And then with any remaining blush on my brush, I'm just going to go over my nose just a little bit to tie it all together. That is all my cream products done. Now it's time to set and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty powder in Cupcake, I believe. Yeah, Cupcake. The amount of times I've said Cupcake Huda Beauty setting powder, I still have to check every time. But this is a really nice kind of slightly pinky toned setting powder. To be honest, I do want to just get like the translucent light one, but I've got so much left of this. I feel like it's a bit of a waste to spend however much it is on a setting powder when I still have a load of this left. So 
I am gonna use this and I've got a very specific routine to set my under eyes, so listen closely. Okay, what you need to do is you need to get a beauty blender. This is disgustingly dirty. I'm gonna clean it literally as soon as I finish filming this video. And I dip it in my powder quite a lot to make sure it's all coated. And then once it's out, I will press this into the palm of my hand to make sure it's all kind of evenly dispersed over the sponge. You see how that changed, what that looked like. And then I will go in again to the setting powder, again, quite heavy. Sorry, it's like down on my sink right now. Quite heavy again. So it's like this. And then again, just lightly, just a second, like do that. And then that is ready to set your under eyes, but make sure you blend your under eyes before you set with this. If you don't re-blend, you're basically just setting any creases that have happened or anything, and there's just no point in that. I blend one eye, then set one eye, then I blend the other eye, then set the other eye. This eye is all blended. I'm gonna take this and really, really lightly, just tap, like so lightly, just tap where you wanna set. And then once you've done that, you're okay to go in with your sponge again. I dip it in the setting powder again, but don't tap it off just because I feel like it's unnecessary. It's just like a bit of a waste. So then I go in and really lightly again, just tap, but again, this second time, you can see how much more powder came off and that is kind of what you want it to look like. I'm also going to set my eyelid at the same time. So just going in with the same powder, same sponge and just lightly tapping over my eyelid. And now it's time to set the other eye. So coat your beauty blender in the powder, press that into the palm of your hand, go in with the powder again and lightly tap off on your hand again, then blend your under eye and set. If you've watched any of my makeup routines before, you're not gonna believe what I'm about to say. I'm then gonna go in with a pressed powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury brightening one. It doesn't necessarily have to be brightening, but I'm just gonna use this to set some other areas of my face. So I'm just gonna take this and take a bit of the shine off my forehead. I'm not going matte or anything. I'm not taking away all the shine. I just want a little bit of kind of dimension on my face rather than just all glowy. Okay, that is all the setting done. Now it's time to move on to powder products. I'm going for a bit more of like a soft glam look today rather than your like clean girl makeup. So I am gonna do some powder products because recently I've not been doing any when I've been using the Refi Cream Bronzer and Blush because I just love them by themselves. But I am gonna go in with my Sigma bronzers today and another blush. I'm just gonna use it in the shade Light. This is the matte bronzer. We know I love this product, it's so good. And I'm gonna take it on a big, oh, I just realized I forgot, saying, for, forgot to say brush names. I use the GGB sponges to blend my under eyes, then it was a real techniques. Oh no, uh, Eco Tools. Uh, one to set my under eyes and then I used this Sigma F03, it's F03 or F03 high cheekbone highlighter brush for setting the rest of my face. I'm just going to go in really lightly. I love this brush for a really, really light bronze effect. You can see how fluffy the brush is. It's just perfect for that to get in kind of every area without being too intense. So I'm just gonna keep kind of going over my cheekbone area and then I'll do my forehead on my other cheek. That is my bronzing done. So now time to move on to powder blush. And I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier blush in Bellini. I, again, love this color. I feel like it is a very similar color to my new Refi blush. So they do couple very well together. I'm just gonna take this on the Sigma F12 setting powder brush. I feel like I never use the brushes for what they're intended for, to be completely honest. And then it just focuses this on the exact same point that I did the cream blush. And last but not least for powder products, we have the Too Faced Moon Crush Highlighter in shade Shooting Star. Now this highlighter is so nice. If you watch my videos back when I used to talk about the old Too Faced highlighter and the attachment that I had to that, this is better. I love it. I think it's so nice. I'm going to use the Morphe M510 brush. I think this is a highlighting brush. It's just a very fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take a few little dabs in at the highlight and then, I mean, you'll see. Like, it's just so pretty. Then for nose highlight, I'm using a really dense brush. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush and it's just got the tip kind of like a dome, just like a really dense dome, if you can see how that looks on my like hand. 
and just take a little bit of the highlighter on that brush and then do it on the tip of my nose like so and then just drag it down in the middle Okay, I love the way this base is looking. It's time to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. What else would I be using? Nothing is the answer. So this is my go-to, my holy grail product. This is the one thing I probably will say I could put my life savings on the fact that I will never find something that I prefer to this. Nothing's better than this. I have like a bond with this. No, I'm not being paid to say this, believe it or not. This is just what I feel out of the depths of my heart. I love this product so much. I just couldn't live without it. This is one of those things when people are like, oh, if you lost your makeup bag, this will be the first thing that I repurchase. Now it's time for my brows and I'm gonna use the GGB Beloved Brow Fix Gel. And this is my go-to brow gel. I love this fun, fun fact for you guys. I keep, picking up like if I'm going out I'll always take a lip liner with me just in case and I keep picking up now I've got them next to each other they don't look that similar but I keep picking up my eyebrow gel and chucking it in my bag with my lipstick because I think it's my refi lip liner <laughs> like it's actually becoming a bit of a problem to the fact that every time I leave the house I have to make sure that I've put my refi lip liner in rather than my GGB brow gel because I went out where did they go thankfully I didn't need it I think I went out for dinner or something and I basically put my brow gel in my bag and then I got home and I thought, oh, I'll do my lip liner now. And then I got it out and I was like, why the hell have I put my brow gel in my bag to go to dinner? And then I realized that again, I had put it in instead. But both of these products absolutely love. So to be honest, I wouldn't mind any of them in my bag being in my bag. But this is the brow gel I love. It's just a really nice feel. It's not too like stuck up when it goes on my brows it's very movable but then it does set down really well on my brows that you don't move once I've set them for my eyebrows I'm still using my crusty dusty pencil because there's product in it and there's no point buying a new one this is the revolution duo brow pencil in shade dark brown now dark brown is way too dark for me so I take it on a brush just like an eyebrow brush eyeliner brush whatever really this kind of shape and I just put the product on this and then I have a bit more movement and a bit more kind of control over the colour and the shape when I do it. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows really lightly. I kind of stick to the natural shape. I don't do anything too crazy and just fill them in to make them a bit darker. Brows are now done. I feel like I look crazy at this point with brows, a full face of makeup on and like my eyes just completely untouched but I'm just going to curl my lashes. I use the Tweezerman lash curler i love it i think it's really good it gets a really good lift on my lashes so i'm just going to curl them and hold them for quite a while because my lashes are so straight naturally my lashes literally got this and if i don't use a waterproof mascara as well as soon as i put my mascara on my lashes they're like this they go like this so i've actually found a really good mascara and it makes my lashes like still stay up which is just literally everything i want and more my lashes are curled and the mascara that i'm going to use is called the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof from Maybelline New York and it's in this purple thing. They always stick these ugly stickers and I can never get them off. So it just looks a bit ugly. It looks like I've stolen it. I feel like I didn't, I paid for it. I think it was like nine pounds, which I think is actually quite reasonable for a mascara and it's really good. So I just take it out and I just coat my lashes. It's actually got a bit of a like curve to the wand. I don't know if you can see. It's really good now that my mascara is done it's just kind of setting sometimes i will go in with another coat sometimes i won't to be honest it's normally just because i forget i do the rest of my makeup and i'm like oh i didn't do another coat of mascara but i'm now going to use the collection fast stroke longwear liner in brown and i love this so much it's so easy to use it's just also so cheap as well and i think the brown color is really nice it's basically black but it's just not really 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 intense it's more just kind of like intense i brush off like most of the excess to be honest on the brush just so it's not really wet and like really easy to mess up i'm just gonna i'm not gonna talk while i do it because i tried that before and it just messed up completely but i'm just gonna try and do a little sweepy wing 
And then on the middle, like in a corner bit of my lashes, I'm just going to do a tiny little kind of swipe. Okay, now it's time for lips. And I actually have a few Refi liners now. I feel like this has actually been like a first impression. No, not first impression, but like a really updated makeup routine. I'm actually really proud of myself. I've changed so many products. I've found such good gems. I feel like barely any of the products that I used are like the same ones that I've used before. Actually, probably let's say half, but like for me to change that many products that like you guys know how good these will be. So I have shades Rosewood, Blush and Taupe Taupe in the Refi Lip Liners. So the Taupe one, I'm going to say it's Taupe, um, is more of like a nudie colour, which I think I might use today. And then the other two are definitely more pink. I'll quickly swatch them for you. Look at me being like a proper makeup YouTuber. So this is Rosewood and this is the colour that it is. This is blush. These look way darker on my hand, by the way. I don't really know why. They're actually quite... No, they're not light, but like on your lips, do you know what I mean? You're very much like light when putting it on. But here I'm being quite heavy handed. And then this is the last one. Definitely more of like your nudie colour rather than your pinks. See, so yeah, I think I'm going to go in with taupe, taupe. Taupe. I think it's taupe. It's got to be taupe. Also, can I just say these do not move like... You can eat literally whatever you want, drink whatever you want, do whatever you want, and they will not move. Like, it's crazy. Okay, I'm quickly just going to line my lips with this. I feel like my lips are looking very dark, so I'm going to go in with my lipstick. This is the Beauty Bay lipstick in tea. It's such a nice colour. I might have to do two lipsticks, to be honest. I think it's because my natural shade today is like so dark because of whatever's going on my lips they're also swollen okay guys this is the finished makeup look and i'm not gonna lie this could be one of my favorite makeup looks i've ever done i just feel like it looks really nice like <laughs> without trying to blow my own trumpet i feel like it looks really nice and i'm really impressed with how it looks i've definitely got slightly more expensive products in my routine now and to be honest i do think it kind of shows so yeah, I don't know. I Yeah, I just love my makeup in the minute. I'm definitely going to film more makeup looks, be a bit more adventurous. Someone asked to do like a red carpet kind of look, so I might actually do a red lip. Can we believe it? <laughs> I'm definitely, yeah, in kind of my makeup era right now. So, yeah. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It means the absolute world. I am very aware that I've been very bad with my YouTube at the minute. And I hate it. Like, I really don't like it. I want to get back on my two times a week posting. I feel like I've said that about three times this year. But I promise you. I pinky promise. And that means a lot. I pinky promise. I'm going to be doing it. And, yeah, I just... I've really enjoyed filming this video as well, which I think is the most important thing. And, yeah, I've just loved it. But once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll put all the shades, all the names of the products, everything in the description box. Um, links if everything's, like, online. <laughs> in stock event um but yeah i feel like there's nothing else to say apart from that love you lots and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're doing rest of your week and i'll see you soon love you